Well, I told you guys I was going to go ahead and make this video, so here we go. What's coming after DLC Pack 4 for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2? I don't know how to go into this. So, all DLC packs have been completely Dragon Ball Super, and it's been an outrage. No matter how you feel about Dragon Ball Super, whether you feel that it's good as gold, or whether you feel like it's garbage, I feel like all of us can agree that we wanted a healthy mix of characters in the DLC packs. We wanted some movie characters, some filler characters like like Garlic Jr. We wanted some GT characters in there like Baby Vegeta. And we just wanted a healthy mix. We didn't want all of Dragon Ball Super. I'm pretty sure if they went and made uh, all Dragon Ball GT packs, people would be scratching their heads in outrage because they couldn't get the Dragon Ball Super characters. But here's the problem with that. Let's let's say in a perfect world, they do make DLC after DLC pack four. Let's say they put in second form Frieza, third form Frieza, uh, Deborah, the missing forms of Super Boo, the missing form of Cell, which is second form Cell. Let's say they put in Androids 13, 14, 15, 19, and Dr. Jero. Let's pretend like they just do everything they're supposed to and we get those characters. Well, here's the catch. If you check your season pass, you're only guaranteed uh, DLC for one through four. That's what everyone is guaranteed. If you have season pass one through four, you're gonna get everything free, paid, it's all good. But, like I said, anything after that, you're gonna have to pay. See, there you go. There goes that fuck shit that, that Dimps wants to be on. So, now, you open your eyes to the trap the trick because now they're gonna slap those shiny little 999 1999 USD prices on that DLC and they're gonna fleece you for characters that you should already have in your game at purchase and let's be realistic these characters are probably already in the game fully done and they're just being held back to exploit you later you want evidence of this well, notice that we got Sonic Bomb, which is an exclusive move for second form Frieza. You got Crazy Finger Shot, again, an exclusive move for uh, third form Frieza. You have a lot of moves uh, that I don't want to just go through all of them right now, but you have a lot of moves that would belong to DLC characters. You have some Android 13 moves in there. You have a lot of moves, but this is evidence that they're already coded in the game. The unlock keys are just being held from you. And I feel like if we go ahead and if I can wake up the community and shake you guys up and we can get outraged about this, we can stop them from fleecing us out. That's what I wanna do. That's what's going on right under your noses and you don't even see it coming. So I'm gonna end the video right there. I've said everything I need to say. If you guys are new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And also, if you want to become a true perfectionist, hit that notification bell by the subscribe button. Also, follow me on Twitch, Twitter as well, because I do intend to do a lot more Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 streams over on Twitch. For some reason, YouTube doesn't allow it. I don't know why. But I've been your perfect being the Super Itachi, and I will see you in the next video.